childhood comic book shop that my dad used to take me to when I was like 10. And any, pretty much this guy had 600,000 comics in here at one point. He probably has none now, but we just saw that he might be open. And we're gonna see if we can take a look inside this place. Pretty cool. Is it? Yeah, I can't get to it though. Yeah, that's probably pretty fucked up. How's this? There's a little comic right here. Let me get back through here. Oh. Through the mecca. There it is, boys. That's a little cool shirt right there. Really? Thanks. No way. All right, good morning, everyone. That's actually a great morning. It is so nice out. It's like 60 degrees and sunny. Ah, that feels like spring. It literally just came out like the sun was just The like... sun just came out when I said it. Mm -hmm. So we trash picked a mountain bike a few days ago, four days ago, something like that. This is what it looks like. It's a really nice bike. I put it on offer up for 25 bucks, which is a great deal. Um, it even comes with the bike lock. The bike lock might actually have the code ready on it already. But we are about to drop this off to someone who wants to ride it to 7-Eleven to their work, to, to their job in AC. So I think that's really cool. Sammy made this deal happen on offer up. So you're going to pump it up? Yeah, I'm going to pump it up. I got to set this out. I'm going to spray the chain with a little WD-40 and we're going to pump up the tires for him. Drop it off, get our 25 and... Awesome, another salvaged piece of material that's gonna be put to use right away. So he said drop it off at his work and he's gonna ride it home. Where is the WD-40 though? Okay, also, we just got these hats yesterday. Coffee before claims. These are the coolest hats we ever made to date so far. They have the free your mind little thing on the back and just the coffee before claims embroidered on the front and it turned out perfectly um, as good as they could have been in my mind so if you want to order a hat the link will be in the description of this video and there's only 50 of them limited edition so we sold a couple already Woo! where is this are you going to test it for him? Test it? Yeah, do a quick ride around. There's this weird spider on here that I'm like not really feeling this. This is like the nicest $20 bike ever. $25 bike. This thing's so nice. Whoa! You almost went over the top. This is fire. This is legit the nicest claim this guy's gonna have. I'm too sure. You wanna trade? Here, I can do it. Yeah, just lean it over, right? That's fine. Perfect. Cool. Pizza delivery? <laughs> Bike delivery. So this guy, he's trying out the bike right now. He's going for a ride, see him? He works at the 7-Eleven as the cashier. <laughs> this is no fucking joke, dude. This is too <laughs> funny. He's like, does it work fine? Let oh, me test it out. Do we have the bike lock in here? Yeah, can I see it? What? The bike lock, I'll give it to him. Yeah. It's on your side, on the side. Oh, here. The he said nice bike, dude. He said yeah. That was up there. That was one of the funniest experiences on OfferUp slash Craigslist that ever happened. We went to 7-Eleven to sell a guy a bike. 
he didn't answer on offer up so I walked in and asked the cashier and the cashier was the one who wanted to buy it he came outside took it out of the car he didn't say a single word rode it around in the parking lot went in the store took it to the back and then I had to walk back in and get my money but 25 bucks and he got a free bike lock and a bike Why are they so weird though? for 25 bucks he didn't even say a word didn't, literally didn't say a word. Didn't even talk to us at all. He just like, kind of was like, yeah, I'll take it. Wild, dude, wild. Yeah, we're just in the, the heart of Atlantic City right now. So sketchy. Like, didn't know if we were just fully gonna get robbed or not. The worst. All right, we just were cruising over just to check out, just literally just to check out the uh, flea market up the street. And here we came across a little yard sale. Is it yard sale today or Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we'll see. Alright, so we are in Egg Harbor City. Um, childhood comic book shop that my dad used to take me to when I was like 10. <laughs> and I used to get like 1990s comics for like 50 cents a piece. Simpsons. Spider-Man, and he, pretty much this guy had 600,000 comics in here at one point. He probably has none now, but we just saw that he might be open, and we're gonna see if we can take a look inside this place. If you're from the area, you might remember it. The Mecca. Play-by-play -play sports cards. So what's going on? Dick Tracy and shit. <laughs> Dick Tracy? What else you got in there? <laughs> Dark Dominion comic book shit. Two That's bucks. old school, old school Two shit, bucks right? a box. Crap. Dark Dominion. Yeah, that was a comic book. It came with that limited edition. You, you could board a binder with a comic book. I don't remember that. I remember yeah, Dick Tracy though. Time. That's wild. Was, uh, oh my God, we have a lot of these, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we have a box of those. <laughs> those are hard. Those are hard sales. Yeah, I just uh, a friend of mine collects this shit, so I I trade them for wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I use wood from the saw from side of the saw mill. I remember back in like 2000. Five, you used to have like 600,000 comics in here. Yeah, I sold them all to one guy. Yeah. I mean, it's basically a mess. But here's a lot of stuff that uh, is mixed up shit or something. It's a it's a shit. mini it's a hoarder's paradise in here though. Yeah. I gotta thin this out. I'm getting ready to sell the building. In Just the herd, right? Some all my children's shit cards. I think these are. Maybe there's some sets down here. I think you can hear some all my children. No, that ain't even that. I thought it was. Oh, and here's a lot of. Here's some mixed up shit, like sports shit. Some shit up there. There's some soccer boxes. The Howard Stern book? Yeah. The fucking thing was like $20. A dollar a book if you need it, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty classic. I'll take one for a dollar. Yeah. I'll have one of those. Like I said, there's all mixed up shit in here. I just started putting shit together. There's some up here. There's some more. Dude, this shit goes deep, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, there's a lot of that stuff. What is this? Country music, yeah, right? I remember back back in the day, dude, I used to come here and you had the Mecca. This is what I mean, you do become a hoarder. Yeah, we have, we have a, a little bit of a hoard at our house. Dude. Backstreet. Kind of guy I used to like to buy shit by the pallets. I, yeah, I know, you told me that before. Yeah, I mean, when I bought a pallet and 
say I sold a, a third of the pallet and I made my money and I shoved it in the corner. What's next? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. It's kind of pretty awesome now. I mean, the fact that you just have like a hundred Backstreet Boys VHS tapes still packaged. <laughs> yeah, there's Backstreet Boys. I mean, that doesn't really get much better than that. Damn, there's insane in here. How much for this heavy metal book right here? What you got there? Ah. If you find some more, I'll make you a good price, like 50 cents a piece or something. I'll take that. No big deal. What are these, Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Are these even like, are these counterfeit or they're the real deal? I don't remember offhand, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, there's still some. Yeah, by the by the frickin' pound, huh? This is uh, really crazy in here, though. Clive Barker. What are these horror? What are those? DC caps. Oh shit, I remember that. <laughs> Sky caps, I remember. Yeah, when it came out in the day. It's pretty cool. Is it? Yeah, I can't get to it though. Yeah, that's probably pretty fucked up. How's this? There's a little comic right here. Yeah, there might be a... I should throw that on, on over there. I'll take that one. A handful of Damn, this Good is job. gnarly. Let me get back through here. Oh. Through the Mecca. Oh, look at this. I remember these guys. There it is, boys. That's a little cool shirt right there. I have. Really? Thanks. No way. I just gotta wash it, right? That's cool. Thank you, dude. There's some penthouse up here. You do. Oh my God, I used to be in a Spice Girls club. Let me see. My uncle made Playboy. My cousin these like these were binders. This is the this is the ultimate pick right now though. God, this is classic. That's coming home with daddy. What about this? The e dog? Do you want that? Nah. It's not old enough. I'd be willing to spend a 20 in here though. Yeah. Easily. Clean. For this merch? Takes a little bit of getting through it, but. Playboy, Amazing Heroes, Heavy Metal. That shirt. Spice Girl. What are those? Well, yeah, I thought it was like a case of this shit too back there. <laughs> Look at this Spice Girl magazine, so. This is straight fire. It's so classy. <laughs> oh my god, and the Hansons? <laughs> I'll take this one. Put one Wait, in Le is that Leo DiCaprio? Yeah, Leonardo. Yeah, he was like there. 15 on there. Do you remember the Hansons though? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, a new terrible. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, Look what at these what guys. was their famous song? The Hansons. I don't know. I remember it playing hey, on that? MTV all the time. Young girl. Let me see through here. Girl, the ultimate pick, boys. It's pretty cool.
There's a stack of comics. Can you put that over there, please? Sorry. This is literally the ultimate pick right now. Got to dig deep though for the gold, boys. What do we got in here? This shit's all empty. That ain't good. find in one of these places though dude it's probably a card worth 50,000 in here we just don't know where it's got used to buy by the case boys Oh, cool. Thank you. That might be a little ruined. I saw that. Yeah. I thought I had that, got that autographed years ago. I remember when Vampirella came on the scene. That got hot, too. She was in here? No, uh, when it first came out. When it came out. I remember that. It was actually out for years, and they finally got a hit. I, that guy, I used to see him at all the conventions all the time. Uh, I forget what his name was. You used to do the conventions? Oh yeah, I used to go to North Carolina, South Carolina, Atlanta's. I was friends with uh, Jimmy Palmiotti and his girlfriend at the time. And uh, what's his name? Actually, I think he's a uh, he's a big shot now in Marvel or something. Palmiotti's buddy. We used to go to the shows and we used to like fucking bring like <laughs> buco boxes of comic books. They had all these guys signed. Yeah, yeah. And it was always a pain in the ass to carry 300 count boxes. So Palmiotti and never always had their booths there because they were always hot selling shit. And uh, we used to stick the shit under the table. And what we needed, we just grabbed and got autographed. It was cool. It saved us a lot of time. That sounds cool. I, I had to sign one of the Palmiotti. And it was, I sold it, actually. Like, not that long ago. to someone that. Yeah, I last knew. time I seen him was, ooh. Probably seven, eight years ago, down in Wildwood, he was he called he called me up and said he was uh, going to be down at a Wildwood show uh, convention up there on on the boardwalk, and we went down there, and, and him and uh, his girlfriend, uh, we went out to lunch and shit, <laughs> and then, then he came back and signed books all day long. That's cool, though. Yeah. I remember I took a, a friend of mine, a girl, she winded up hooking up with a. Uh, Michael Turner, what a benefit that was at the time. <laughs> so are these just horror cards of, of people? Uh, what are all these? Clive Barker, he's a horror writer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Neil Gaiman. Gaiman yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. He did uh, Sandman. Yeah, yeah he's I don't a strange know. cat, Neil Gaiman. That's so a good that book, though, dude. Yeah. You don't have any more of those Marvel uh, clothing? Uh, not really. Just what I can see, right? Yeah. Yes. Socks. Heavy pick right now, boys. Look at all those dreams. No way. Heavy pick right now, boys. Look at all 
you like some weird shit like this, which is kind of cool if you like. It's a what is it? Po like DC posters. Oh, like old posters. Yeah. Can I get like, a box to put all this stuff all, in? All that kind of weird shit we used to get that we used to we were supposed to hang up and all that kind of funky shit. But this like was the all, promotional stuff, right? Yeah, it wasn't sold. You know what I mean? Let me um. Can I use one of these boxes? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Here's some of this shit like this. I think this might have been bootleg. You know, like those, remember? Oh, yeah. The packs. Like fake Yu Gi Oh or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, I got sheets of them. These were like some comic sets, I think it's some. Was that young blood or something? I think I thought it was on. I think it was like young blood or something or something like that. I remember that. Yeah. I have some of those cards actually. So this pile, right? This is like posters and shit, right? Yeah. What's back there? Nothing. It's just yeah, all collapsed. Not a whole lot, yeah. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Where'd she go? She left. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought she was. How's this Furby? Yeah, that's an old Furby. Yeah. This place goes deep, boys. Awesome, dude. Thank you for letting us come in here. Yeah, no I problem. appreciate it, bro. Thanks. All right. Got my box of goodies. If I can get to them. If I can get to them, boys. If you go that way, you can probably you can grab some more down. I don't know if they got wet or not. If you go to the left, maybe walk that way. Is there more on the shelf, yeah, you think, maybe? Yeah, there's a whole box. Oh yeah, my Howard Stern, but oh, there's it's all Howard Stern, I think. Okay. And I'll take some of the weight off you. All right, we're good. She here. Thanks. Chill, man. We can hardly even fit through here. We're in our shed right now because the wind is really strong for the audio, so you guys can hear me. But this is the box we got from that comic book shop. This big box here. So I'm just gonna go through this stuff really quick. Hero Illustrated, 1994. There's a bunch of these. These are like guide to non-sports. This is from 1994. This is pretty much a price guide, but it has the Joker on the front. Comic Book Monthly, Over Street, Sin City, Hero Illustrated. So that's a cool version there. It's kind of like for comic book shop owners and stuff. And there's a ton of these non-scripted. Overstreet with Bartman on the front. And it's got like Matt Groening when he was actually young. It's pretty crazy, 1993. So these are all like, all of those are like the comic book shop owner books we got a bunch of these wizard magazines still in the packing um, this one's from 2004 this one is from I don't even see the date on it 2002 Howard Stern the book 
Miss America. Pretty crazy. There's more of those things. Bunch more wizard magazines. That's the Ben Affleck one there. Daredevil. And then we got this Furby. That was the score. That's cool. We got tons more of these. These are non-sport. I guess there's a lot of sport. Most complete price got available. I guess the prices would be totally different now. Overstock. Not really sure of the prices of the value of these. X-Men trading card game in the package still. These are all like promotional posters, which I gotta go through from like a comic book shop owner. So like all from the 90s probably mostly. Magic, The Gathering, poster, I don't know. Nostalgia for people that play the game. There's a bunch of posters though. I definitely do have to look through this in deeper content, but we're just trying to show what we got right now. Like these would be for like the front window of the store. Something like that. I don't know what that is. So we got a ton of those. A bunch of Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't know, not that many really, but two things of cards. And then this is a whole stack of just, just random different comics. This is literally a preview of what the comic would look like. That's crazy. Never even saw anything like that before. So that's before they even printed it. We got the official Spice World photo book, photograph album, so you can put your pictures in there. It's pretty awesome. Heavy Metal Magazine from 1984. A Playboy from 1973. These are not in great condition though, any of these. Still really cool though. Those are probably the best things. Two more unopened. Mm. It's still fine, the lighting's still okay. Two more unopened Spice World photos. And then a stack of comics. Spectacular Spider-Man. Walt Disney's Chippendale. 10 cents. From 1958. Super old. Mm -hmm. Abba and Costello. Comic book? Treasure Island? Wow. Spice Girls on the cover of this magazine. Spice on tour. <laughs> and then another wizard everything. And then this is the Grail slash they call it the unicorn sometimes when you find the most unlikely thing. Sammy J found this in a comic book shop. This one's for sure the coolest one. I gotta watch that like tonight. Made in the USA. Single, Single stitch. stitch. 1995 Marvel. Ghost Rider. Securus. Large. This must be a youth large, right? Mm -hmm. This is straight up the killer find of the month, in my opinion. This is one of the coolest things that we've ever came across. Sammy J claim. Gotta give it to her. That guy was so cool in that comic book shop. You guys saw the video, but he was just like throwing more stuff in because he was like, less stuff I have to throw out. And he threw it like this. <laughs> Like, as if I would ever want this. Because I was looking at it. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I just didn't know what it was. But this was, he was in the time <laughs> of, like, when you used, he used to be able to, like, go to comic book conventions and, like, distributors or something, he was saying, would take them outside and, like, sell them pallets and pallets of comics for cheap. And then he would take them back to a store. He said he would sell, like, a little bit of it, get his money back, and then just move on to the next pallet. So now he's just ended up with like a huge moldy store full of stuff that probably nobody wants at this point. Because it was hard to even find anything good in there. But we did walk away with this. So, stained, yes. Vintage, yes. Impossible to find, yes. You probably couldn't even find this online. 
The graphic on this shirt is brand new though. It's never even been washed. Look at that. Wow. Clearly, it's never been but, washed. But yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> you know, when you're out there picking, these are the spots that you do find the gold because if this was in a thrift store, it would be bought up in two seconds. Mm -hmm. But like, we literally just pulled up to the side, knew about the comic book shop from my childhood and just asked the guy if we could look around. Like, that's how you find these scores. I'm gonna look up some of these. Thank you guys for watching and we hope you enjoyed our pick today. Picking an old comic book shop. It was actually really fun. Just a little bit, whew, too much. He was smoking <laughs> cigarettes in there and there is mold galore. All right, let's see this little dreamer. I think it's dry now. All right, let's see it. That's not it. Ah, it's a baby, dude. It's crispin. It's not even hardly stained, dude. Look at this thing. This thing's fire. This is the coolest vintage tea you could find ever. Okay. Whoa. I've literally been claiming. <laughs> I've been claiming and finding these in Matt. Like I said it like you two have days been ago. Making claims. This is the bet. Dude, it says Marvel Comics right there. This is the best quality you can ever wear this get. tomorrow. This is uh definitely was a little boy. It was never even worn. It was just in that dirty store, so it got stained from like the roof leaking on it. Mm-hmm. Delta. Made in the USA. Do it like a, a nice slow sweep over it. Slow, slow, slow. It's a small shirt, but perfect for your size. True. I mean, he did say he was giving this to you for free. And he did. And he did, which was really cool of him. Very cool shirt. Very cool shirt. But you never know what you're going to find. You got to just always be hunting. This is true. The most unlikely place. Well, actually, it's a comic book <laughs> shop, so it wasn't the most My unlikely breath. place. We're going to go see Landis and Lucky in a second. I can't get over how cool All this right. is. The, va the monetary value <laughs> of this is, zero, is is not zero. I mean, actually, I, I think it's worth $100 anyway. But the monetary value of this has nothing to do with why I like this find so much. Because I used to read these comics. And I would always look at the ads that they had for Marvel t-shirts and I'd be like, well, I missed that by 10 years because they were selling them in like 95 and I was reading them in like 2005 or something like that, probably like 2000, but still. All right, quick shout out to Raymond and his mom, Rose. Thanks for watching both of you and I hope you enjoy your cups. And another shout out to Betty Jo, Tony's wife. Tony, Tony. Tony, so, Tony. Thanks for watching, both of you. Tony, Tony. His wife, Betty Jo. Shout out. You for the dream. Shout out, guys. And Rose, thank you for watching. MJ. What are you? What are you saying? You won't give them kisses good night or good morning. Say good night or good morning, pop pop. Say good night or good morning. Good boy. And I did find, get this today to add a thrift store. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. You know, you're already like your daddy. This is nice. <laughs>